twenty minutes or so by car from the city center to the northeast of Beijing, right by the Fifth Ring Road, lies the city's booming new art district, Cao Changdi. Here, the atmosphere is quite different from the famous Seven and Eight Art District, which is only a few miles away. While you might be overwhelmed by people constantly posing by artworks in Seven and Eight, Cao Changdi still remains a place where you can have some quiet time to appreciate works on display. Started in 2002, Cao Changdi now has over 300 galleries and artist studios. Among them is Chambers Fine Art Beijing. Chris Mao, the founder of the gallery, was born in China but came to the U.S. in the mid 80s. I was a financial analyst for a while, and then、uh, I get bored with that thing. And he started to rethink his career choice. This time, he had his eyes on contemporary art. The really inspired me about contemporary Chinese art was 1998. There's a show called the Inside Out at the Asia Society and the PS1. Seeing all the inspiring works from China, Chris really thought about doing something to promote Chinese art. After careful research as a financial analyst was trained to do, Chris quit his job and founded Chambers Fine Art in New York. The New York space fulfilled his goal of introducing Chinese contemporary artists to the West. But he didn't stop there. In 2007, Chambers Fine Art Beijing opened in a red brick building cluster designed by Ai Weiwei. Speaking of the space, Chris recalled the first time when Ai Weiwei brought him to the site. One day he said, "Oh, Chris, go there to look at that place." So I went to this site. It's literally a garbage dumpster, huge garbage dumpster. I was just ha ha, you know. That was. I think November, '06. Now I come back again. That was like February '07. So he said, "Go there, have a look." I go there, look. All the garbage is gone. They start the foundation. The speed of construction amazed Chris, and together with Ai Weiwei, he fine-tuned the space to his need with two large gallery rooms and a courtyard. The space in Beijing is not the first time Chris collaborates with Ai Weiwei. Earlier in 2006, I had already designed another space for Chambers. The space, which is called Art Farm, is in upstate New York, and it mainly serves as a storage space and for private viewings. Now, having three spaces on two continents, Chris is carrying out his original goal of promoting Chinese art. On a much bigger scale,、um, we are always do the sh- group show with young artists, and、uh, then、uh, sometimes because the, here space is much bigger than New York, I can、uh, use here as a, again experimental site, and、uh, I normally dance from a big group show to the smaller group show, travel to New York. Now, at least four major shows would start in Beijing every year, and then travel to New York. The list of artists at Chambers includes many of the top contemporary artists from China, like Rong Rong, Zhang Wang, and Zhang Huan. Currently, Chambers Beijing is showing Song Dong and Ying Xiaojin's new works, *The Way of Chopsticks* three. It's the third joint exhibition for the husband-wife duo at Chambers. We met Song Dong at the gallery, and it was also his first time to see the exhibition in its entirety. Because we two, ah, is. 定了尺寸和这个就是切的这种形式以后，然后各自做各自的。但是我们大概的主题呢是跟现在的生活有关，呃，所以我一直在想他应该做什么。尹秀珍 ，the wife， made the yellow chopsticks to reflect the structure of a crane， which is ubiquitous on construction sites everywhere in China. Looking closely, you will find Ying Xiaojun's signature usage of clothing fabric attached to the structure. Song Dong's chopsticks were inspired by the pillar and beam of a house. Each chopstick is divided into twelve parts, and each part tells a story from his life. Boulevard with street lamp that you still see around Tiananmen Square. Theater, which was used as a gathering place for propaganda purpose, and loudspeaker, which was the only source for news. In Song Dong's childhood memory, the exhibition will go on till the end of July at Chambers Fine Art Beijing. Though it's a bit out of the way from the city, well, according to Chris, 
It's a way to test his visitors if they really want to see the artworks or not. The exhibition will then travel to New York in November this year at Chambers Fine Art on the 19th Street in Chelsea. In Beijing for Art Info, I'm Tom Chen.